Hi guys, today I'm going to try to show you how to fix the AlphaWise cooling system. Now it's been notorious for having bad cooling because what it does is um, it has a fan on this side that blows air this way. So it, everything, the plastic always cools well on this side, but on the other side it doesn't. And uh, what that does is, as you can see here, I printed this part this way. And so this part here was nice. But once it got here, it doesn't cool properly and it had all kinds of problems. So, um, I actually built this. Um, this is a part that I found online that somebody made. Now, I wanted this to be the one that I printed out that would work. But when I tried to print it out, same as this part, it was so bad that I kept making a huge mess. And so I ended up printing it this way. And when you print it this way, FDM printers are not very good and so they make a mess on here and this is the part that I need to work. Um, so what this is going to do is it's going to be mounted on here and unlike the regular um, systems air will flow through here with the fan and then it will come out uniformly all the way around as uh, like in a ring shape around the extruder hopefully cooling the plastic uniformly all the way around. So. Let's see if we can get that to run. Um, before we do that, what we're going to have to do is remove the current fan system that's on there. So there are four of these screws on top here. And we're going to remove all of them. And I don't know whether the screw size is correct, so we'll have to test all of that out. But the fan comes off pretty easily. At least I hope so. One screw, two, three, and four. And the first thing that I notice is that the holes, oops, the holes that were made here in this printer, um, print part that somebody else made are going to be way too small for the screws. So that's not good. Um, it's There's a chance that the ones that I made are also too small, so I may have to reprint it, or it may be a little bit hard here. Let's see, these are relatively big screws for the part, so I may have to either use Dremel or something like that to do that, or they won't go through, as you can see here. It is quite evident that these are much larger holes. All right, so in the next video, then, I guess I will do that because I'm going to have to machine drill these so that there's enough space for that. Anyway, um, see you in the next part.